Nightmares by the Dark Kitty, read by Deathlight. Twilight Sparkle suddenly awoke from her nightmare, screaming at the images of her friends lying motionless at her hooves, their bodies broken and mangled. As Terek stood smiling down at her, tears sprung from her eyes and loud sobs broke free from her as the images of her friends' mangled bodies refused to leave her mind. Twilight screamed once more and buried her head beneath her pillows to muffle her uncontrollable sobs dragged into her body. No matter how much Twilight tried, she couldn't get rid of those horrible images of her friends' dead bodies. She couldn't stop her dreams from forcing her to relive the battle with T-Rex. But in these dreams, they were so real. When Twilight gave her up her magic, Tyrk burst the bubbles, keeping her friends captive, allowing them to fall to their deaths. Twilight let loose another scream of anguish. She had been suffering these nightmares each and every time she fell asleep, and each and every time she woke up screaming and crying. This time was different though. This time, the nightmare was so real, she couldn't tell reality from fantasy. She was now sobbing so much, it became difficult for her to breathe. Then a thought entered her mind, and her blood ran cold, and her heart shattered into millions of pieces. Rainbow Dash. Even though Twilight knew deep in her mind that her friends were fine, that they were all alive and well, the overwhelming emotions of grief and pain from her nightmares were chasing off any logical thought. She had seen her mare friend with her own eyes. She had to make sure the rest of her friends were okay. A flare of magic sent the sheets flying across the room. Twilight ran as fast as she could out of her room. So many tears of heartache and pain running down her cheeks so fast that they had left a wet trail behind the distraught unicorn. The front door of her new castle exploded as the blast of violet energy removed the obstruction from Twilight's path. To find her friends and making sure they were okay, Twilight's sobs continued into heavy breathing with no sign of stopping. No matter how many times she tried to reassure herself that what she had dreamed wasn't real, Twilight couldn't stop herself from running as fast as she could to a park where they had scheduled a picnic. She couldn't stop the tears from falling. She had to see for herself that her friends were okay, that they haven't died in the battle with T-Rex. The nightmare had been so real. She could still recall the hot blood of her friends splattering against her fur as their bodies hit the ground and exploded in showers of crimson liquid. She could still see the look of absolute terror on her friends' faces as they failed to their death. She could still recall Rainbow giving her an empathetic look as if it was her fault, as though she had failed in protecting her friends. She couldn't stop reliving the nightmare. She could still feel the heartache of not being able to reassure her mare friend that nothing was her fault. She couldn't free herself from the despair of not being able to tell the Pegasus and how much she loved her, how much she meant to her. Every pony she passed gave her concerned looks and asked if she was okay, but Twilight ignored them. She had to get to her friends as fast as possible. She had to know that they were alright. Twilight gave a desperate whimper as she came across the produce cart blocking her way. Had she been in the right frame of mind and not worrying about the safety and well-being of her friends, she would have thought to teleport, or even fly over the wreckage blocking her path, but she was too desperate to get to her friends. A stream of violet magic burst the curtain into millions of tiny pieces. She ran through the wreckage, ignoring the cries of outrage from the ponies covered in pulverized fruit. The only thing that mattered right now was getting to the park, and making sure her friends were okay, especially Dashi. The park came into view and her racking saw tore through her throat as she noticed her friends were nowhere to be seen. Twilight searched desperately through the park trying to find her friends, who had informed her of their plans for a picnic, but they weren't anywhere. Twilight eventually came to a stop and let out a tormented scream, as the images of her nightmares overwhelmed her mind and her reasoning. Several ponies gave the distraught princess concerned looks, and began clicking the children to take home. The irrational part of Twilight's mind was trying to tell her that her friends were still alive and well, but the emotional trauma from her nightmares was too overwhelming to think rationally. The only thing that could calm her down was seeing her friends safe and sound, and holding her pegasus once more. Twilight's horn glowed and every pony in a 20 meter radius was blinded by the massive amounts of raw power she was asserting. Thick streams of pure magic began to flow around Twilight in a massive hurricane-like pattern, and the alicorn let off one last scream of anguish before slamming both of her front hooves into the ground. A massive shock of violent energy erupted from the impact and spread out over the entire town of Ponyville. Her eyes were now glowing pure white, as she used every last ounce of her magic to find her friends. The thick streams of magic that had been encircling her was now flooding through every house, every street, and every shop of the town, connecting with every pony that could be found. And moving on, when Twilight didn't recognize any of the pony's auras as her friends, Twilight gritted her teeth and began pouring even more magic into the spell. She wasn't going to stop until she found her friend's auras and saw that they were okay. Ponies all stared in fascinated fear. Twilight's magic enveloped the entire town. Not understanding what was driving their princess to perform such magic, Twilight could feel their fears and wonder through the bands of magic that were searching for her friends. But she ignored them, 
only focusing on five particular ponies. Twilight's magic had finally searched every nook and cranny for her friends, but they were nowhere to be found. With a desperate whimper, Twilight poured even more magic into the spell, and began searching the outer fields of Ponyville for her friends. The thick violet strands of magic poured along the ground, guided by Twilight's will, covering every surface it could find. Cracks began forming on the ground beneath Twilight from the sheer amount of magic she was wielding, but she ignored it. She only cared about finding her friends, and suddenly she did. Her magic finally touched a group of instantly recognizable ponies relaxing beside Ponyville Lake. Twilight could feel their calmness as they ate, laughed, and chatted amongst each other. A smile formed on Twilight's muzzle when she found her friends were alive and well, and her tears were now those of happiness and relief. She suddenly took off running once more, following the thick strands of magic that led to her friends. She let go of the rest of the strands, and focused every ounce of her power on her group of friends. She felt their slight confusion as they noticed the magic rolling over them. Her friends were safe, that's all that mattered to her. She then began to check her magic to focus on one pony in particular, her mare friend, Rainbow Dash. She's perfectly healthy, but extremely confused with the violet magic pouring over her, as Twilight began to make sure there was nothing wrong with her. Besides a few feathers out of place, and a bit of dandruff on her wings, she was fine. She then felt Rainbow's confusion melt away, only to be replaced with a surprised pleasure, as her magic began fixing cricked feathers and pulling out bad ones. Twilight finally made it to the lake, and the actual sight of her friends that wasn't assisted by magic caused strong tears of relief to fall from her eyes. She pushed herself to run even faster, and Rainbow's eyes widened into worried fright as Twilight ran straight into her. She barely had time to flare her wings in preparation to take off and escape Twilight's mad rush. Before her mirror friend tackled her with a massive hug, the two of them tumbled for a bit from Twilight's momentum, and somewhere in the tangled limbs, wings, feathers, Rainbow felt her mirror friend kissing her with more passion than she had ever expected. When the two mares stopped rolling, it was with Twilight on top who pulled Rainbow to her hooves, before pulling the Pegasus into a tight hug. Rainbow's confused delight at the amount of affection her mirror friend was giving her turned into worry and concern as she noticed Twilight's body trembled and shivered. She felt hot tears running down her chest from where Twilight buried her face into her fur in an attempt to muffle her sobs. Rainbow made comforting noises and softly stroked Twilight's mane before unfurling her wings and wrapping Twilight into a protective embrace. She was clearly upset about something, and Rainbow felt her heart breaking at the state her mare friend was in. Rainbow was about to ask what happened to cause such a breakdown in Twilight when she heard the muffled words of the Yalicorn was speaking. You're still alive, Dashie. 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 She was now really worried now, so she pulled back in order to see Twilight's eyes, causing Twilight to give a quiet whimper and hold her tighter. Soon the rest of her friends were walking over, each one wearing the same concerned look of confusion. What's the matter, darling? Grady asked, placing a comforting hoof on Twilight's shaking shoulder. Twilight gave another whimper and used her magic to pull her friends into a massive group hug, not willing to let any of them go. She never wanted to be away from them ever again, especially her Pegasus, whom she continued holding in a desperately tight hug. She wanted to stay in this moment forever, this moment where her friends were alive and well, and their lives weren't in danger from an ancient evil trying to destroy or take over Equestria. This moment, there were no more constant nightmares where she was forced to watch helplessly as her friends were killed or made to suffer. Everything was perfect now. She was in her Pegasus' comforting embrace. She was surrounded by her friends, and slowly but surely, their presence melted away the fears and nightmares away. Hello everyone, um, this one is just a wee bit rushed in case you can't tell by the quality, but that's just because of um my life so far. It's been just a lot of work, just even Try to get something out today. Um, also, part of the reason why it's being posted so late is because it was my birthday. Um, I'll give you a little hint. I'm not going to tell you my age, but it's going to be... I am two years older than what you're supposed to be to get a driver's license in Idaho. So, um, yeah. Give you a little guess around there. And if you've been listening to some other stuff, you'd probably know exactly how old I am, so... Anyways, um, see y'all later. It's been fun. Bye.